What's up? I'm Megan Triplett. He is John Roser. And I had to Skype him because we had some things we want to talk about in our new segment show called Three Point Stands. And it is presented by, can anyone guess? Can anybody guess? Can you guess what it's presented by? <laughs> Mountain Dew. We are all set. I got my drink ready. You got your drink, your hat. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Megan, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Oh, I got Shout out to Talladega Nights. You are jacked up on Mountain Dew. So we got three topics that we got to talk about. It's the hottest thing that happened over the weekend. So you ready, Roser? I'm ready. All right. Let's first start with college football. It was the play heard not just around our city of Memphis, oh, but what the game nation. Talk about here. Yes, everyone's talking about that call against Memphis and Temple. Was it a catch? Was it not a catch? Roser, what did you see? To me, look, I, I actually understand both sides of it. Um, I was not as wound up about it as as the, the overwhelming majority of Memphis fans were. But to me, it does come down to you ruled it a catch on the field, and there was not indisputable ev evidence to overturn that to me. Because the replay of it, when you zoom in, it just looks all standard definition and grainy, and you can't really tell what's, what is the ball, where's his elbow, does the ball hit the ground? And to me, there's not enough evidence that shows the ball hits the ground. There's not indisputable, mm -hmm. there's, there's no, yeah, there's no indisputable evidence that the ball actually hits the ground, which means if you don't have that evidence, you cannot overturn that. Look, I thought that I saw the ball hit the ground because I went frame by frame on my TV because I recorded it. And I really do think the way that Magnific not Magnifico fell on the ground, it hit something hard enough to make that ball move so significantly that I do think it was the ground and it was the right call. I was like, mm. when I saw it, there was only one replay angle that you had to see. It was that corner shot angle. And that's what did it for me. I was like, the ball definitely hit the ground. I didn't see his arm. Everyone told me I was his shoulder. It wasn't his shoulder, his arm under it. The ball hit the ground. Home cooking from the referees. There's a jail in that stadium because Eagles fans are the absolute most insane football fans ever. They were playing in the Eagles stadium. Home cooking from the referees. They didn't want to be thrown in jail. That's why they did it. That's why they overturned the call. Now, look, we can both agree on this. Memphis, you got to do a better job in the first half. You right. cannot turn the ball over, what, three, four times in the first half. Um, and they got lucky their defense held Temple to field goals because if they if they if Temple would have gotten touchdowns instead of field goals, then that play in the second half wouldn't even have mattered because Memphis just would have had no chance of coming back. All right, so let's move on to someone who was always at the top of her game in the gymnastics world this weekend. Simone Biles became the most decorative gymnast of all time in world history. She picked up 24 and 25 gold, her 24th and her 25th gold medal. She won five of the six gold medals that she could have won over the weekend. So that led to the question of, is she the greatest of all time? Is she the GOAT? In, in her sport? In general, there's no, not just a sport. Like, Would you put Simone Biles the GOAT? All right. I mean, I would make some gymnastics people mad, but just nobody cares about the gymnastics until the Olympics. Nobody not true. Does. Not true. It's, it's, I, I mean, this is watch. I actually went with Michael Phelps too. World championship. I watched the qualifying round. I love gymnastics. I'm always watching gymnastics. And of course, Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, they kind of helped lead the way, becoming me this huge fan. Actually, I've always been a fan of Dominic Dawes back in the day. Those those women I've I've always watched. And for what she's born? done at 22 years old. What year were you born? I was, I'm not giving my age, but I was born in 1989. Black don't crack, that's why I look this good. <laughs> don't do the math. Don't do it. Don't do it. Were you, does that put you at like seven or eight? Yeah, seven to, do you remember Carrie Strug in the Olympics, the 96 Olympics, Atlanta? Yes, I do. Like yeah, yes, the I broken do. leg or the broken so, ankle? Yes, but ev ev everyone saw that. I, yeah, but I just, it's the same way with Michael Phelps. No, like, nobody cares about swimming until the Olympics. You know, this, if, is, this is different. She became she became the most decorative male or female for what she's done. And as, as everyone knows, with gymnastics, usually gymnastics, you know, you have a younger cutoff. You can't do because you're as, as a woman or any, anyone's body can't do it as very long. So for her to be able to do this at 22 years old and then she didn't even do the move that we all thought she was going to do. It's that double twist type of back it's, it's named after her. She didn't even do that, and she still won. And they even said that if she didn't, she could have taken a couple twists out of every single 
move and she would have still won. Like this girl, it is the greatest of, of all time. She's got so many gold medals. I would love to see her house. Where she have all these gold medals? So, I mean, I, I get, I hate the word greatest of all time, but she is in that book. Like, I don't think you need oh. to qualify her in different sports. It's, she is great of all time. When you think about an athlete, she is it. Okay. So I've got to look this guy's name up. Okay. Magnus Carlson. Is he, is she better at, at, um, at gymnastics than Magnus Carlson is at chess? Oh, you know, that's what we're talking like about. Is she considered the greatest of all time? Your answer is yes or no. No. I disagree. People she like is. care about your sport if you're going to be the GOAT to me. And nobody cares about your sport except once every four years. That's not true. I care about gymnastics for all my gymnastics fans. I am okay. with you. I am watching okay. every single but year. And I cannot wait for the Olympics next year. The Go Simone Biles. Only cares about your, only cares about your sport. One out of every four years. Oh, that's not true. Let's move on to our last topic. <laughs> last topic. No, because we're running out of time. Last topic of our three-point stand. I know you got a lot to say. On Sunday night's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, we got, got to see Kim Kardashian put on that famous Met Gala wet type of looking dress, stepped out of the shower type of dress. And in the process, we heard her say, that the one thing that she cannot do is pee, and she is okay with that. She'll just pee her pants and have her sister wipe her legs. Yes, yeah, she said, said it so calmly too. Yeah, no, would you and, do that for fashion? And you texted me this video. You were like, and I was like, okay, this is a perfect topic because I, what I don't follow a lot of celebrity news, mm -hmm. but I do love the Kardashians. Like, I, oh, and Kim Kardashian. I know that. Because I, yeah, well, I'm a huge Kanye West fan. Um, and I also like Kim Kardashian, and then they happen to get married, so it's a perfect topic for me. Um, first of all, she's just assuming her sister's going to want a white pee off her leg. Like, like that's the most ridiculous thing to me. I'm like, why are you going to have your sister do it? The other thing, too, is like, okay, why? because that makes it like your sister is beneath you. Is She's going to white pee off your leg. To me, like, you got enough money. Why don't you just hire someone to white pee off your leg? It wasn't like, that, like... Someone to walk around and do that. It wasn't that it was beneath her. It came out so calmly that it was it was as if she said it as if her sister's, of course, going to agree with this because this is something that they probably have done before. Like yeah, it was right, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, wait, has like has, has she done this before? She had pee wiped off her leg by her sister before. Because she was just <laughs> said it like as a matter of fact, and it's just she's super confident. Yeah, my sister's gonna wipe pee off my leg. To go through all of that, to go through all that, put on a dress that you can't even pee in, that you might have to have your sister wipe your leg and pee in your pants. Like, look, the only thing I can think about is like a wedding gown for me, and I am not married, and I don't think any dress would be worth all of that. But I'm not gonna put it beside it. The fact of like, hey, if I have a banging dress and it recalls me to not being able to pee, I my choice is you ain't peeing that night. You're just not going to pee that night. That's that's the only option you have. Don't give me a sip of water. Don't give me a sip of wine. Like, that's your only option. There is no option of peeing my pants. And then, of course, I have three sisters, and I know for certain none of my sisters are going to wipe the pee off my leg. <laughs> well, here's the other thing, too. Her sister's like... Well, one of them is, like, richer than she is, Kylie. And the other one is, like, they're all millionaires, too. And I just don't think millionaires are wiping pee off other people's legs. It just doesn't seem like something millionaires do. And now we're stuck knowing, wanting to know, did this happen? Did she pee in her pants and did her sister wipe her leg? These are the questions that I need answers to. Look, she could have helped someone out. Like, there, there are people who are, who are way less fortunate than she is. And probably could use some money. She could have paid someone like ten thousand dollars to wipe pee off her legs. She could have gone and found somebody who needed why like ten thousand. Why is that an option, Roser? You keep. Why is that an option? You should not be peeing in your pants anyway. Well, <laughs> she wants. I think Kim Kardashian. If she wants to pee in her pants, she can pee in her pants. So, Roser, you have the money. You're peeing. And everybody your pants. pees their pants. It's the coolest. So you're, but you, but your whole thing. I'm gonna pay someone to wipe my leg. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, well, like, she clearly seemed like somebody's going to wipe pee off my leg. It's going to be my sister. I'm just saying, if, I, if I'm their sister, like, if I'm one of her sisters, I'm like, I'm a millionaire. I'm not wiping pee off your leg. Oh, my God. And I'm so saying, she seemed determined she's going to have somebody wipe the pee off her leg. I'm saying, well, okay, if you want pee wiped off your leg because you're going to pee your pants, go at least 
give somebody some money who needs it, who you could really actually help out, and I'm sure someone like that will wipe the pee off your leg. I'll wipe pee off your leg. I'll do it. Pay me like 10 grand. I'll wipe some pee off Kim Kardashian's leg. Well, you know what? Let's end it right there. So <laughs> this is an example of what three-point stands will be like. We'll have Rose or possibly wipe pee off Kim Kardashian's leg for ten thousand dollars. You never know what we're talking about. Two after that one. <laughs> we'll never know what we're talking about. You keep drinking that Mountain Dew. You might have to pay someone. To I don't think I'm going to go to sleep. I may not go to sleep. <laughs> All right, Roser, thanks so much. Thanks for watching Three Point Stands. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Presented by Mountain Dew.